What up, y'all? It's your boy Joe Simmer, and check it out, man. In today's video, guys, this is a updated freeform uh, video, okay? What do y'all think about my bougie wine glass, man? This is actually water. So all my uh, <laughs> all my cups are, are in the dishwasher right now, so I'm having to use the, the bougie wine glass. So don't flame me in the comment section. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting way off topic, but uh, yeah, so this is an updated freeform video, okay? Um, there's something that I've learned recently, which just never really crossed my mind, but it was that uh, certain QBs need certain freeform settings. Okay. So, uh, yeah, basically, um, Aaron Rodgers. Okay. So we're going to go over a few things, but let's, let's go over Aaron Rodgers first. So Aaron Rodgers, right? So this is what I'm talking about is different QBs are going to need a different freeform. Um, this is not going to be a freeform tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of show you the best settings for certain QBs. Okay. Uh, Rogers gets slinger one. All right. So this, this is something I'm going to save you time basically. So you don't have to look for yourself if you come across this video, but if you want a full tutorial on freeform settings, I will leave that video down in the, in the description box. Uh, it's a great video, man. You guys love that video, like 11,000 views or something like that, man. Y'all really hooked it up fat with the like subscribe button, man. So I appreciate y'all, but that's a great video and it's still valid to this day. So you can, um, if you want to know how to freeform, then you can watch that video after you watch this one. But this one's really important because depending on your QB, you're going to need a, a different freeform setting. So Aaron Rodgers, right? Aaron Rodgers gets slinger one. All right, let's check Tom Brady. Okay, so Tom Brady gets traditional one. All right, so a little bit. Uh, Slinger one obviously is the best release in, in the game, right? No doubt about it. Tom Brady's release is not the best, okay? So his freeform settings are going to be a little bit uh, a little bit different. Okay, so now we're going on Jalen Hurts, okay? Jalen Hurts gets generic two, so his is a little bit different. The only thing I don't like about Jalen Hurts is... On deep passes, he like completely winds up. All right, so his free form is gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you those three um, and then you can kind of see what I'm doing and then you can adjust accordingly. All right guys, so Aaron Rodgers, right? Let's talk Aaron Rodgers. How to master free form passing, okay? So Aaron Rodgers, all right? What I have noticed from my personal experience is he started to play way better for me when I, increased this freeform speed to 14 okay 14 for me is a sweet spot all right i just it, it just works so much better so if i were you you can come in here to practice mode and if you don't know how to change practice type right you come over here normal this is versus uh defense and then you can go to offense only which is what i did and so this is how you can test out different freeforms but i feel like I feel like just with Aaron Rodgers, I just feel like it's, you get good rack animations when, it, when it's on 14, number one, but at least f from what I've seen, but I just feel like it works out way better, right? I could free form up and because his release is so fast, I'm not going to overthrow the receiver, all right, usually, unless I'm like under pressure or something like that, right? Boom. Okay, so this is what you'll do is you'll come in here. And then you can kind of practice with that. All right. So let's see. Right. That's just kind of down the middle. I don't think I don't think I freeformed that one that great. But um, right. Let's see. I'm going to freeform him up. Okay. And but that's what I've seen works best with Aaron Rodgers is just to have it on 14. Right. Have it on 14 and that freeform. All you have to do is just put it where it needs to be. Very rarely are you going to throw it out of bounds um, because his release is so fast. So let's use verticals for an example, right? I'm going to try to hit that corner. Boom, right? It's just, it, it always puts the ball in the perfect spot. But, you know, that's Aaron Rodgers. But I feel like 14 is the best for him. Let's move on to the next QB. All right, guys. So we're going to be talking Tom Brady. Tom Brady gets traditional one, okay? So that's his free form. Um, what I have found is that being on 11 works for me the best with Tom Brady. Okay. Like I said, Rogers 14 and up. So 14 and up for Rogers. And I feel like 11 to 14 is probably best 
with Tom Brady, and there's a reason for it, okay? The reason for it is because of his deep throw high passes, okay? So whenever I use Brady, um, high passing is like, has been the meta since the game came out, right? So um, high passing is always, you know, it, it's just always been the meta. So whenever I throw deep passes and I use free form, I feel like it helps out so much so let's look at uh let's look at r1 or, or, or rb right that was not a high pass but with air with uh tom brady's release i feel like 11 gives me that little bit extra time to get a little bit further to the right rather than uh rogers right rogers i need a little bit faster speed but as you see right i'm still getting a good rack animation and stuff like that but the main thing why i like 11 is because for uh the free form high passes right because i'm always going to get a pretty good rack animation uh, rack animation is basically um the the square on playstation or x button right to to continue to continue to run with the ball but mostly it's because of the deep pass um free form right the deep pass free form usually <clears throat> excuse me usually you will get this type of whenever you high pass let's say to evans or somebody pretty tall and you're using brady not only did i get a little bit extra space but i will always get something along these lines okay this is the most perfect animation you could probably get this this is a madden how, how would i say it? this is like a madden players you know whatever I, I don't know where i'm going with this but basically this makes me happy <laughs> see this makes me happy seeing <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that but basically this is the the animation that you want is this right here right so boom right you always want him to catch it like this and i feel like with brady whenever i high pass and i i free form with with the speed to 11 i feel like i get this animation just a lot more consistent, but that's just me. All right, so let's go back to the running back. The problem with uh, free form, uh, high passing, so free form high pass, right? Since the patch or whatever, it has been very, um, you can overthrow your receivers like a lot, okay? But what I've noticed, like I said, when I put Tom Brady's release uh, or, or the free form speed when I use Brady, when I, when I put it on 11, it gives me a little bit more consistency. Yes, I still overthrow. I may do it in this video. It's pretty random sometimes, like I said, but I've I've noticed that I get the most consistent reform passes whenever I have it on that speed. Okay, so I'm gonna use the running back, right? Boom, that's the same type of animation you want. That's the free form high pass that you want. If you are not free form high passing, you need to learn how to do that. And if you're overthrowing and constantly overthrowing, then just go back to where you were. But if you can learn this, like I said, sometimes it's not always going to be perfect. That's a perfect example right there. All right. That's a perfect example of, of sometimes it, it just doesn't work. All right. But if you wait a little bit, wait a little bit, boom, right? You kind of have to time it right. All right. But you're all, you're like, you always want that animation is what I'm saying. All right. So that's that. But then let's kind of just go over, right? Just regular uh, freeform passing. This is another thing in the game. I don't know why it does that, but I'm gonna try to. Um, right. Let's see. I'm gonna put. Let's put the tight end on, on like a corner route or something like that. Right. Tight end on a corner route. Here's here's another one. Right. Let's use Jones for an example. Right. Or, or Godwin. You know what? That's fine. So let's freeform. This right here. Boom. So that's a free form high pass, okay? And with Brady, like I said, it gives me that little bit extra time. I don't want to spend too much time on this video, but that's what you're going to want to do basically, all right? And also getting the timing down right. But let's say I don't free form high pass, you can still get a good animation, right? I just feel like sometimes it can be a little bit more consistent. But that's my thoughts on, on Tom Brady and his free form. All right, guys, so let's talk Jalen Hurts. All right, Jalen Hurts gets uh, generic two. Okay, so I feel, I feel like the best thing for Jalen Hurts is between seven and eight, okay? I prefer eight, but that's just me. I would not go above, you know, 10, 
I, I just, he has no ability um, and his, his release is not the best. So I keep it to eight. Okay. Um, so f this is, how would I explain this? Basically for you mutt guys, right? Let's say you want a new QB. You want Russell Wilson or you want, um, uh, you know, uh, Matty Ice or, or whatever it is, you can check mutt.gg and it will, sh it, they will give you, they will show you his free form, uh, or, or his release. They'll basically tell you what release he gets. So you can check that website out and then, uh, you can see kind of what the QB releases and then you can change your free form depending on that. Okay. But for you, uh, for you regs guys, right? If you're going to use the Eagles or something like that, for me personally, I feel like because Hertz doesn't have the best uh release so i would never want it to be too high you know what i mean i would keep it between five and eight all right five maybe a little bit too slow so maybe six to eight for me i think eight is kind of the sweet spot okay there's only one issue with that but as you see right um just kind of you're just gonna have to come in here and kind of get comfortable with with their releases and stuff like that but you know jalen hurts right no matter on the deep passes, because the free form is so slow, he doesn't really uh, overthrow. All right, so let's test out the high form, right? The high form, free form, boom, right? That's what you that's what you want to see. All right, I'm gonna try to actually let's try to uh, quick hike this into the middle. All right, but you can kind of just come in here. I feel like it just works best. This is the only issue. Here, let's see if I can hit the running back to the right, to the sideline. Boom, outside shoulder. Okay, that's what you're gonna want. You're gonna want outside shoulder. As long as, you know, at least to the sideline. If you can't make that pass, then your free form is probably not the right, it's probably not on the right speed, okay? But I feel like I can just barely get it there. And I just feel like with Hertz, man, Hertz is, is I don't know. But I just, I that's just my personal preference, okay? There's only one issue, like I said, is when you free form inside. Okay, so if I'm gonna freeform to R1 and I freeform inside, he's usually nine out of ten times he's gonna overthrow it. So you have to be really careful with the uh, the inside throws. Okay, but as you see, it's very inconsistent with Hertz when the freeform speed is at eight. So you're gonna have to adjust accordingly. For me personally, I would never throw. It's a rare occasion where I will throw it inside pass on a wheel route usually i'll try to throw it to the outside so i'm i'm okay with that but you come in here you know you practice you get familiar right if i'm going to free form up and diagonal boom i get the good rack animation and stuff like that but that's it for the video man that's that's basically uh just an, this is just an updated free form passing uh in man 23 and just some things that i've learned it's different Q, uh, qbs are going to need a different free form at least that's my thought process on it. But y'all let me know, man. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.